What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop. I'll be back at you guys again with another video. Uh, today is beautiful All-Star Sunday. It's nice and sunny in Chicago here today. And we actually have one more All-Star release to unbox here. It's kind of a sleeper. Unless you're a LeBron fan, you probably didn't want you probably didn't go after these this weekend, but I'm a huge LeBron fan. I love the LeBron 7, so I had to pick these up. But before we get into these beautiful shoes, please hit that like and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram to see how I style these beautiful sneakers. The link for my Instagram will be in the description below. So yeah, let's just jump into it now. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel or watched some of my previous videos, you guys know I've done LeBron 7s before this year. So this is my actual third LeBron 7 that I picked up. Now, I absolutely love the LeBron 7, as you guys probably tell. And I never got to get these back in the day. So now when they bring out these exclusive colorways I wasn't able to get back in the day, I kind of just want to buy well, I kind of just buy all of them. And they're easy to get to. They don't really sell out. Unless you are a bigger size. Like, my size 10 and a half actually sells out. But if you are, like, smaller sizes, like size 10 and below, they usually sit around. So if you are those sizes, you can probably get them for under retail, honestly, on the, on the secondary market. But let's get into this box. Like I said, same LeBron 7 box they've been giving us. Same box from back in the day, if you didn't know. LeBron 7 Quick Strike. So these aren't like general releases, they are quick track releases, but they aren't really hard to get, like I said. 10 and a half, chlorine, blue, black. So yeah, let's just get into it and bang, bang. Here they are, the LeBron 710 All-Stars. As you can see right off the bat, you do get extra laces. Now the cool thing about the laces in these LeBrons compared to my other sevens is that these laces are actually wax laces. And they actually give you a, uh, and the, the spare laces are actually wax laces as well. So Nike didn't cheap on there. Like I said, I didn't have this shoe back in 2010. So I don't know if anything changed. I heard rumors that this shoe is more purple. But I don't really see any purple in person. Even though purple kind of like does pop up on photos that you'll see online. It probably has to do with like filtering or just the camera. But I could certainly tell you that there's really doesn't really have that big of a purple tint to it. It's more just like aqua in my opinion. But I am referring to like this wood grain up here. Now that's the real big difference material wise with this one. As you know, if you watch my Chinaman videos, you knew that was like a matte finish. The red carpet's a leather and right here on the toe cap, you got this wood grain, which is like mimics the hardwood floor. And this goes throughout the midsole and ends up on the back of the shoe. And this is also all 3M. So all this right here, this toe cap area through the midsole to the back of the foot, that's all 3M on that wood grain and that's pretty much the most like um the part that sticks out the most of, of the shoe other than the shoes all blue so yeah we do have blue synthetic leather up here and then we have our flywire technology with the black nike swoosh black nike swoosh on the inner as well black lebron logo lebron logo right here as well and then we got the lj and yeah quality wise on these i don't know man with these lebron sevens there's just always like glue marks and stuff as you can see back here i got like a glue mark you can maybe see that sticking out but yeah there's just glue marks kind of all over these um and it sucks because they are 200 dollars, so that's pretty pricey for a basketball shoe but i will have to say this is one of the most comfortable shoes. Like, I don't, even, I don't use these to play basketball. I just use them to walk around. And they are one of the most comfortable shoes. Like, this Air Max unit in here is super comfortable. And they do fit true to size, in my opinion. But if you do have a wider foot, I would recommend maybe going up a half a size. Because you do have this angle collar right here that does take up some space. And yeah, so that's the sizing of ice. But yeah, these are super comfortable shoes. And I, like I said, I don't use these for basketball. So I don't know how they're going to perform on court. I'm assuming just fine. If LeBron was actually, LeBron actually wore a couple sevens this year, just for like, like a half or whatever. But on the inner to finish out this shoe, we do have uh, East Eastern Conference, Dallas, Texas, 2010 on there, which is awesome because it commemorates obviously the all-star game that LeBron Wardy's in and then also on the bottom it's just straight out it's straight up blue like the rest of the shoe so yeah this is a very vibrant popping shoe I don't even really like blue shoes that much but this is more like an aqua blue I really do like these but now that I'm looking at them I just keep seeing more like quality control issues I'm definitely going to keep them because as a diehard LeBron fan I just feel like this shoe is necessary to have and like I said I like the LeBron 7s 
And I mean, I know there's a lot of glue marks on the shoe, but when you're wearing the shoe, no one really is gonna see that. So I guess it's not really a big deal. I just wish maybe if you're gonna like charge us 200 bucks, maybe have a little more quality control. But other than that, I really have no complaints. If you guys are interested in this shoe, they're still sitting on Nike and probably other websites in like sizes nine and a half and below. Like I said, the smaller size usually sit around. So if you're smaller size, you, have, you would have no issues picking these up and you could probably find them on the retail on like sites like StockX, Go, etc. But yeah, that's my video for today. Overall, I mean, this is just a classic sneaker for me. It's something that, like I said, being a LeBron fan, something I felt like was necessary for me to have. And I like wearing different stuff. You don't see a lot of people wearing these just because it's not like a, uh, it's not, it's like more like just like LeBron fans wearing them. It's not like really like a mainstream, like, unless you know when, Unless you were around when Nike basketball was popping, you really don't under I mean, you really understand, like, the significance of this shoe. But anyways, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!